Hey guys, welcome back to my channel here. This is Penguin Tech. Today I'm going to show you how do you change your mechanical key switches. Now I have a Techware Phantom 104 keys here and I have just taken out one switch here as you can see. This comes with the Automo Blue and oh, sorry, Automo Red. So I've taken out one out here and as you can see this is the key switches itself. So I'm going to show you how do you pull this one out and then what you're going to need is a key puller here. This is a very simple one, a very simple one. And then I'm going to try and demonstrate to you how do you take off this key switches. And now I'm going to take out the key switches for my S button. So it's easier if you remove the key caps around it because you're going to use quite a bit of force to pull the switch out. Now what you're going to do is to orient your key switch on the to the top and the bottom of the switch. And as you align, let me just take this back for an example. You're going to try and push the pin here on the top here. This small, very small black pin here. And then the one on the bottom here. You want to push them inwards and then pull your key puller outwards to try and take it out so I'm just going, going to demonstrate to you here I wish this is longer and a thicker so that it's, so it's more comfortable for me to pull but here we go so try and align that and I can feel I push in the pin there now, just trying to apply some force upwards and gently you will be able to pull this up. So you see, so this is the Automo Red here and it comes with two pins. So you gotta check what, what, key pin, what pins your keyboard support and in this case, this is clearly a two pin one. And right now we are going to replace the key now the reason I'm doing this replacement as I was hoping to fix the WS button which is repeatedly giving me some problems as it does not register at times or it over registers sometimes so this is the key new switch I bought here uh, it's also auto mode red but it's in a white housing and clear head here now you want to make sure you buy a clear head for this one as this has a, a, a LED on the board itself and this is RGB model and so you want to push this thing back into the keyboard so uh, yeah same orientation like so now this is for the light to shine through and then just push it back inside there we go now it's all good and then all you need to do is just put your keycaps back. Yeah, so that's about it. And this is a very quick guide. I hope this is helpful to you and your old keyboard enthusiasts. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.